This is probably one of the coolest things that we have ever done, ever. Hey guys, welcome back to Spike Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at this cool, very customizable, uh, animated material. It is super cool, you can use this for so many different things, it's so versatile, it's, it's actually insane. I'm gonna go ahead and break down some of the nodes we have here, uh, it's not that much for how great this is awesome, it's so cool. We're gonna go ahead and just get rid of all of this for the time being, I'm just gonna disconnect that from the material output, so... I have a sphere with one single lamp. Let's go ahead and, and hit Shift A and we'll add in and search. And we'll search for emission. We'll just grab that. I'll kind of just replicate what I have up here um, uh, down, down, down this way. So we'll go ahead and just uh, hook that up to the surface. And we have that basic default uh, emission. We're going to go ahead and grab a color ramp. Shift A, search, color ramp. Plug that in right there, the color into the color of the emission. And then uh, now we got something a little bit a little bit better. If we slide these around, you can see it'll get darker and lighter depending on what we got. Uh, of course, we're going to need a couple more things. We're going to need a texture coordinate. So we'll uh, shift A, texture coordinate, plug that right there. We're going to need a mapping node, enter, plug that in right there, shift A, search. And we're going to need one last thing, which is a noise texture node. Now, if we move these all around here, let's go ahead and grab the, um, what did I have that, the normal. I don't even, we don't even really need this texture coordinate most likely. We can probably get rid of that. Um, if I grab this noise texture and put the factor into the color ramp and then the mapping into the scale of the noise texture, you can see that when we uh, have this all nice and plugged in, let's actually go ahead and plug this texture coordinate back in, like I said, normal. And okay, so let's go. Okay, so now if I were to go ahead and, and scale this, you can see that we have the nice color ramp, which is doing some pretty good stuff. But the, an, e an even cooler thing is if we were to go ahead and, and copy some of these things that I have done here. So if I put this detail of the noise to about 5.2 maybe, and oops, no, 5.2, and the uh, location to 1, 1, and 1, that's what's going to help us out right there. Uh, now, the really cool thing is that if I go ahead and I change these colors here to maybe like a blue and instead of a white, we'll get like a, maybe a little bit off white-ish, I guess, something like that. Uh, if I go ahead and change this from linear to constant, drag this backwards, you can see that we have a nice little... Uh, a nice little thing going on so far and now if I were to go ahead and, and actually do we need this I don't think we might we might not for this yeah, I don't think we do ah, no we we might yeah we might let's go ahead and just put, put that back in all right so uh, yeah we do okay sweet I, kn I know I'm right I know I'm right just trying to save you guys a node anyway uh, we can go ahead and, and hook up some of these colors here if we hit this little plus button we can add in new colors and I'll just go ahead and add in a couple different of the blue variation colors here and we'll just drop this backwards so we have a little bit of that darker blue in there um, or something like that you know what I'll just do I'll just get rid of this and we'll just grab this up here so I have four different colors shift D to duplicate by the way I have four different colors so we have this darker blue right which hex value is that then we have this lighter one kind of pushed up uh, next to it and then we have an even lighter one and then of course just a solid white right there F -f 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 -f. So, uh, if we look this up into the color and the color of the emission there, now we have the same exact colors that we had uh, up up top there. Now, if I were to go ahead and scroll this rotation, you can see we have this cool animation, you know, this really strange, like, warping thing going on, which is really, really neat. Um, now, the way we can customize this is if I go ahead and I turn the scale up, you can see the scale is obviously just going to be the regular noise scale value that we normally have. Um, which is also nice if you want to drop that scale down and then just rotate it. You can see you have a much smoother effect. Something closer to like, you know, a Fortnite style, I guess. Um, instead of more harsh like that. You don't want to go too soft with it though because then it starts looking like that. Maybe you're looking for this. Actually, that looks pretty good down there actually. It's kind of like a wave motion graphic. I don't know. You can use it for so many different things. It's so versatile. Let's go ahead and put that back to about f uh, maybe two. Yeah, two, maybe three. Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so uh, the way we can scale this up is actually because we're, we're missing the scale from the noise texture because it's because it's going into the mapping. If we want to scale this up and make these this these lines smaller, we have to actually turn the location up on all of the different values, which is pretty strange, but it works really nicely. Um, took me a while to be like, whoa, what's going on with that? 
But uh, if we go ahead and rotate, you can see, oh, it looks, it just looks so good. And once again, just like how we do with so many different materials on the channel here, you can just easily just change these colors, have them go to different values, and easily have a nice time creating new uh, combinations. Now, this is even more customizable. That's kind of like a lava fire shader, I guess, huh? Um, it's even more customizable because if you want to go ahead and change the noise texture, you can do that. You can actually plug this into the detail of the scale. It probably won't do too much, but you can, let's just see what it looks like real quick. If I plug that into the detail and we use the rotation, oh, so so barely visible, it's, it's almost pointless. Uh, what about the distortion? The distortion probably should do some pretty good stuff, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay, well it does something, but I don't know if it looks good. I don't know if it looks good, so let's go ahead and put that back into the scale. Now, if you want to change this from the regular noise texture, you can, of course, do that. I tested a few of them. Uh, my favorite, uh, well, not my favorite, but uh, Verona doesn't work very well. Verona only works good if you have this on intensity, if you have it on cells, sorry. So let's, if we plug this into the scale and then plug the color into the color ramp, Get rid of that noise texture for now. You can see what we have here, and if I just use a rotation, it kind of does this weird... I mean, I guess that's good if you were going for something that looks like that, but it's not really that great looking. So we'll go ahead and put these back to a blue color, like that. Much easier to see. All right, so if I change this from intensity to cells, it starts getting a lot cooler now. We, once again, I have, to, I have to change the scale of the location up to maybe a, approximately even 20 for the Veronoid because it's so so big. Um, but if I go ahead and put this rotation up, you can see we have some pretty cool looking stuff. Doesn't look as good as the noise, but it definitely looks pretty sweet. Um, and the other, the other Y and Z values also do have a very slightly different effect with the rotation. So if you want to test those out, you can definitely do that. If we change the scale, it will definitely scale to whatever axis you are scaling it. Um, which, you know, could look good for some specific things. I don't know, maybe you're doing like a sonic blast wave. I don't know. Um, and maybe you need some scale on it, but we're going to leave the scale down for now. Uh, one of my favorites, I think, was, let me go ahead and grab this, was the wave texture. The wave texture looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and, and plug this in here and move it back over. Now, if I change the, nope, and this goes into the scale. If I go ahead and turn the location back down, because that's too big, it's giving me a headache. Uh, maybe not that big, maybe one. Yeah, one looks better. All right, so you can see how we have those three lines there, which is kind of pixel art-like, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just thin those out, space them out a little bit more, get a little bit of variation in there, like so. Now, if we go ahead and change the rotation for this, you can see we have a really cool warping-like effect, which is super cool. Now, it gets even cooler if we turn the distortion up just a little bit. And then we turn that rotation, uh, and then we start messing with that rotation. Really super cool effect here we got might even be better than the noise to me I don't know I like this one a lot it looks really cool um, detail scale can also go up a little bit just a little bit though maybe get a little bit of it doesn't even look like lines anymore it's just the coolest it really it looks like a force field you can totally use this as a force field shader um, and then just animate this like I said and this is this value uh, is animatable so you can go ahead and go down to the timeline here Hover your cursor over top of rotation, hit I, and then go to the last frame in your 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 uh, scene. Hover your cursor, uh, change the value, hit I, and then play it. And now you can see super super cool animation. Now we can also animate the other values as well. So for instance, I can just change this up a little bit, and then maybe I'll do 500 on the Y, and we can animate these at the same time get an even cooler look and maybe we'll go negative for this one you know super great because we didn't spend a lot of time doing it but you can see how you can have a really cool uh, style animation but yeah it's a super cool thing you can test this out with all different types of texture nodes you can grab a magic texture yeah all right so that is it for today's tutorial I hope you boys and girls enjoyed it if you did let me know down below as always I hope you did I really did oh man so, that's just one of the coolest ones. I like it. I like it so much. It's one of the coolest ones. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.